Hey guys, it's Brooke from Flirty Girl. How are you? We're doing Flirty Girl file number three. So exciting. Uh, so much to talk about. The first is that my hair is straight. I know. Uh, a lot of people ask me how I get that crazy bedhead thing I rock a lot. Um, the answer is I don't wash it for days. I put a curling iron in it and then I pray that it looks decent. Today I, you know, I actually washed it today and I straightened it and let's see what my stylist says about it. <laughs> Who knows if she'll like it or not. She'll have something to say. Uh, let me know. What do you think? Do you like it straight? Do you like it curly? What do you like? Uh, okay, so what are we going to talk about? Did you see on Facebook how I posted the Bustle boudoir behind the scene video? The girls at Bustle um, did a boudoir shoot. They each had one and they videoed behind the scenes and they talked to the girls about it before, you know, what they were nervous about during and after. It's awesome. Check it out. Uh, if you didn't see it on my Facebook page, Google it. It is so cool. You guys know I am always talking about boudoir photography and how you do not need to be a size two. These girls are not size two. You do not need to be a model. These girls are not models. Um, but you need to do it, guys. It is so empowering. It is so awesome to see yourself in this new way, right? Like this really sexy, beautiful way that maybe you don't always get to see. I, I, I think that our husbands see us like that a lot, you know, because they, they love you. Uh, but we are so hard on ourselves and we are so, we're so mean to ourselves. Um, and the boudoir photography experience is a chance at self-love. It is a chance to own your beauty and your femininity and you know all the beautiful things that we don't see about ourselves every day and in doing that it becomes this like really empowering awesome really cool thing and almost everybody comes to me to do boudoir photography and they say oh it's my husband's birthday it's his and it's our anniversary blah, blah blah and every single one of them leaves here being like you know what I did that for me and that is totally true. It happened to me when I did my first boudoir shoot. I mean, I've done a bunch of them since then. But that first one, I thought I was doing it for Lumberjack. No, 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 no. I actually did it for me. And it changed my life. I know that sounds crazy. But sometimes you just need to see yourself. That's probably everyone else already does. Uh, it can turn a switch in you and it's a beautiful thing. It's a testament. It's something to be able to look at and say, God, this is this is a part of who I am beautiful do it if you don't do it with me that's totally cool go find a photographer that you love and go do it at least at one point in your life do it okay what else are we going to talk about Halloween is coming I have openly talked about how I'm super interested in role play I have never done it but I really want to I think there's something very cool and sexy and like naughty about it the only problem is Lumberjack is a, he like he could not be less interested for real um He's not into it. But you know what? I say, I don't care. <laughs> There's this great guy on Instagram who responded when I posted um, about doing some role play. And he was like, look, I could tell you what men really want. But go do what you want. Like, go dress up and be what you want. Because whether Lumberjack says in advance that he's into it or not, he will be when he sees you. And you know what? He's right. That guy is right. That guy rocks. Um... I'm going to do it because I want to do it, and I think it's hot, and I promise you, Lumberjack's going to come along for the ride. So what am I going to be, you ask? Should come as no shock to anyone, but I'm going to be French me. Why? Because it's pretty, and it's feminine, and it feels like lingerie, which you know I love. Love me some lingerie. So here it is. I went to Victoria's Secret yesterday, and I bought it. It's going to be super cute. I'll show you a picture of what I look like in it, even though you probably don't want to see that. I don't look like the model, but I think it's going to be really cute. I'm, like, really excited about it. Um, I am going to do it probably this weekend, so stay tuned for the report. He's going to love it. Like, how does he not love this? And the thing is, this is a toy, right? Dressing up and doing role play, that's a toy. It's a sex toy. It's something new. It's something different. It's something that is designed to turn you or him on and add an element of the unexpected and new uh, to your bedroom or your living room or wherever you're doing it. I hope you're doing it in your living room. That's cool. Uh, and here's the other thing I'm going to incorporate with it. 
tech one. Can't you see me doing that? Like cleaning the mantle. That's not really a cleaning tool and it's not meant for that. This is a tickler. I actually hate being tickled, uh, but I do like this. And the reason I like this is because when this comes on your skin, helps if you're blindfolded, to be honest, because then the rest of your senses are fired up a little bit more. Once you um, close down one sense, the other four or three or however many are left uh, are heightened. So if you're blindfolded and you're doing this, that means your sense of touch and sensation is going to be stronger. This is great floor play because this tells your body, oh, something very cool is about to happen. So it, it starts tingling all those neurons in you and it, it sort of says, oh, something fun is happening, something fun is coming, and it, and it sort of gets you um, in the mood and ready, even if it gets your body ready. It's like when you turn on a car, it's like vroom, vroom, vroom. This is the vroom, vroom in the bedroom. It's cool. And if your kids find it, you can blame the cleaning lady, right? I actually think, to be honest with you, that Lumberjack is going to get more turned on by the fact that I'm pretending to clean than he is by the lacy outfit because I am a terrible cleaner. I My secret, my dirty little secret is that I'm incredibly messy uh, and I think he's going to get really turned on by the fact that I'm trying to clean versus the lace. So, you know, you do whatever works. Um, that's my toy for the week. Sort of a combo toy, the role play and the feather tickler. These are easy to pick up anywhere. This one happens to be a really nice one with a nice handle, but I mean, you can you can get really cheapy on these. Uh, and do a boudoir shoot. Take pictures of yourself. Like you got to check out this bustle thing. It's awesome. I love these girls. They rock. Uh, and that is Florida Girl File of the week. I hope you guys loved it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next.